so yep. afterwards. I got one text from a person after my ride. Yeah. They're not allowed to do that. Was but, it like you're but, cute? But no, 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 no. This guy, I think doing? he totally, like, it was warranted, and I almost appreciated it. Yeah. And all it was, I, this is recently, I forgot a bag that my house I needed to go to the, I needed, I was at the airport. I forgot a bag that I needed. So I took an Uber back home, grabbed the bag, same Uber, went back to the airport trying to make my flight in time. Yeah. And it was a whole fucking fiasco. Let's just write for another day. But the point is, the guy was with me for the whole thing. And he was stressed out, like, get in the bag, whatever. And so he texted me later in the day, like, I'm not allowed to text you, but I've been thinking all day, did you make your flight? Like, he just wanted to know, which I thought was so cool. And I had to tell him, I did not. I did not, I did not make my flight. Did you respond with those three words? Yeah, I, I, I said, not. I did not. And he just put, oh, man, I'm sorry. Oh. And that we, was, never, we never talked about that. I did not. And I'm reporting you now. <laughs> we never talked about that. But that morning, let this podcast run long. It's okay. We're okay. going to be okay. No, but I just want to say that the morning we, we went to uh, Sabacon yeah. was oh. such a colossal mess. Because, yeah, Sean left a bag and it, and it was like, oh, my God. And so he was like, we're all in this 5 a.m. flight haze. It, it was 5 a.m. Because we did fly out that early. I barely slept. I'm like, yeah, what? What's going on? He didn't, Sean didn't bring a bag. What? And uh, and he's like, yeah, I forgot the bag. So you know what? I just elected. I made the decision to go back. And as soon as he told me that, I'm thinking, in morning traffic, you have missed the flight. I didn't want to say that at the time. <clears throat> yeah. But I thought, going all the way back and back, just to get a bag, like, the the person Sean is worth more because it was just a bag of kind of like our merchandise, I think. Yeah, or something. it was just some giveaway stuff. You know, or, yeah, it was giveaway stuff, and uh, it, it was like Sean. I think you are more valuable than the giveaway stuff. Yeah, it, I think, but you had already left. It, it was wasn't like, well. It wasn't it, the best decision. <laughs> so sure enough, Sean missed that. Missed there, his. There were so many things I did wrong in this moment, which I make mistakes all the time, yeah. right? Like, I know it's perfect. And I, I panicked. And when I panic, it's never a good thing. When like, Kevin starts busting up, you know, like, I, you I fucking up panicked. And I was like, oh shit, we need that bag. I, I have the time. I know I have the time to go back and get it. I need like half an hour and I can do it. 20 bucks, Jenny could have like yeah. UPS. So, that shit. you needed 40 so minutes. So I, I, Got the Uber. Me and this guy are like a team. We're like he's going through, these tra- like he's like killing it, You're like killing through traffic, whatever. Team. We grab the bag. I run out. Like Death I race. just go, Death and I get to the airport. I bring the bag I'm out of breath, and the guy goes, "Ah, oh, you missed it by four minutes." <laughs> four. <laughs> like, oh and then my okay, god. Okay. Well. Okay. Well. Now I'm panicked because it's like okay. Well, now how do I get there? But there's a flight you can take. It's an hour. Okay, that's oh, fine. Okay. That's totally fine. Okay. So then I get, I have the bag, and I'm like, well, I, my plane hasn't boarded yet. Like, I could definitely get on if I just, this now this bag is my curse because I can't get on the fucking plane because I have this bag here. So then I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll get in line for that plane. And then so I get in line, and the person at like the end of that half hour line was like, oh, yeah, no, that plane is full. And you, and since you missed that flight and it's your fault, you definitely, we're not going to, you have to buy a new flight. Oh. Like, there's nothing we can do for you. Like, you're fucked. <laughs> and so I'm like, well, my my plane literally just took off with Rocco and Derek on it. And now I'm sitting with this fucking bag. So then I take an Uber back to my house. And oh. the worst thing about it, which I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. It was 5 a.m. and I messed up. But Kevin was driving to the same convention later that day. and could have <laughs> easily picked up the fucking bag. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been literally no effort for him to do that. Or you. So Kevin picked me up, and I took a ride with Kevin to to Las Vegas. To Vegas, yeah. And then all of that is going on. Our <laughs> Derek and I take the flight as planned. I actually we we drove separate. So I'm sitting in my my seat on the plane. Derek comes in the plane, looking at me like, "Oh, hey, Rocco, what's up?" Like that was the first time we saw each other yeah. on the plane. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and it was just <laughs> someone missing, and I said, "Yep." We're wow. about to take off, and he's like, "You got to be fucking kidding me!" <laughs> so yeah, I told him, "Yeah, he missed it, whatever." And so, we, I mean, that was the flight to Vegas from here is like fucking half an hour. Forty-five. No, minutes, it's, 45 it's minutes. nothing. It's like five hours. The, it's, fl- it's, the, flight, the flight. The flight. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah sure. uh, the flight is like yeah, half an hour. So we took <laughs> off. We went up and then went down. And I'm like, "Can you believe this happened?" And we're off the plane. We walk off the plane, and I'm still like, "What are we gonna do?" Sean's not here. What are we gonna do? And then. <laughs> They they lose Derek's bag. Like they all they had to do, they checked his bag, and it went lost. Like there was no connection. They just went, yeah, we lost it. What? 
oh my God. And I'm stressing out about the whole thing. And then I realize in the midst of thinking about all this, I didn't grab any of my carry on. <laughs> what? My, the my, fuck? my suitcase is still, I just walked off the plane. I was like, man, <laughs> I was like, man, this all sucks. What? And I was just walking, thinking that. And then I'm like, I left the plane behind with all my stuff. Why did I, <laughs> why did I do that? So then I walk back to the counter. I know we just talked to you about a missing bag, but I left all my stuff in the up overhead. Conti- like, I don't know what I, I'm doing. I don't know. And they were like, well, your friend, they lost uh, your friend Derek's bag, but don't worry. All checked bags have track tracking numbers, tags. We've got a whole system. We'll find that bag. But you said yours was carry-on? I'm like, yeah. Oh, that's probably gone. We have no system for that. Like, that's basically like if someone handed it to someone, you know, I mean, that could be anywhere on earth. I was like, cool, thanks. And they were like, and I was like, well, can can we get on the plane? Can we go look? They were like, oh, that thing's in San Jose. <laughs> really? It's already in San Jose? Yeah. And so they were, I was like, what do I do? And they were like, uh, here's the direct phone number to the gate in San, in San Jose. Literally, this goes to the phone oh my God. at the gate in that airport. Oh. You can keep bugging them. Oh. And that's exactly what I did. I kept calling did that you number. Get your bag back? And they went. Wait, wait, wait! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it a gray bag? Yeah. All right, we we'll we'll find another plane back to Vegas. Oh my God. I, I got your bag right here, oh, uh, and uh, I'll hand it to someone. If they get it back to Vegas, that's up to them. But I would start checking after four. Anyway, the rest of that day, no one could give me a straight answer, so I just went. <laughs> the Vegas airport was right by our hotel, and I just went down there around eight p.m. And sure enough, there was a big pile of shit, and there was my bag in it. Hell so I yeah. grabbed it Lucky and got fucker. it back. And to this date, they still can't find Derek's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we still don't have No really? joke. Yeah, we we checked bag. this week, and they're like, I don't know, that, man. Uh, Rocco <sighs> got his bag back, and I remember he – they told me, when we find your bag, we'll give you a call. So he's like, you want to go to the airport? And I was like, no, they haven't called me. He got his bag back, and then he came, and he's like, I think you should go to the airport. I think you should go. I went down there and my bag was just sitting there. I bet yours is sitting yeah. there too. Yeah, because they kept selling me. They kept, or they kept telling me they were gonna call me. Yeah. Oh, we'll call you. We'll call you. They didn't call me, so I just marched down there, sure. saw the pile of shit, ripped it out, and walked away. In my gut, I felt like eh, they didn't call me, but all right, you convinced me. I took an Uber. I went down to the airport. It was like ten minutes away from our hotel. I went and I talked to Delta, and they they asked me, "Are you sure your your suitcase was on the plane?" Oh my God! <laughs> no, I don't have an answer for that, lady. I gave you guys the suitcase. I feel like I should be asking you that question. Yeah. Like, am I sure it was on the plane? No. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they were like, "Well, it has to be gone a certain amount of time before you can report it as missing," which is hilarious because I don't have the fucking bag. It's missing yeah. by definition. It's yeah. missing right now. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Here we are, months, months later, later, still no Damn. idea. How do you yeah. lose the bag? It went, uh, like, it. there were no connecting flights. Like, when there's connecting flights, I get it. Like, oh, there's confusion. What plane did it go on? What, whatever. We handed it to him right there. We went, eh, to Las Vegas. It's gone. Like, how did... How do you do that? How do you fuck that up? But I just thought it was funny that the whole tracking system they had failed, but... People handing my carry-on bag to other people, that system worked. People that, across oh, states. Pe- people will always defeat robots. I, I, oh, I firmly it, believe, wow, though, is. that me starting that wave is what... I mean, You everything would have worked out fine. Yeah. I just not <laughs> left the airport. <laughs> yeah. I, think that, I put it all on myself. Everyone so. was thinking about you. We all lost a bag that day. Yeah. Well, I had my bag. It was in Kevin's car. Remind <laughs> me to never go to Sabacon or just... Keep everything in my oh, pocket. Oh, no, it was fun. Oh, okay. It was fun. Yeah, Sabacon, Sabacon was great. great. Vegas, it, we talked about Cantina. It was great. Our panel, <laughs> I was jealous of that. Our panel was at 6. Kevin parked the car at like 5.57. I ran out and sat on the stage and we started the panel. It was oh a fucking God. crazy day. 